land shrimp. We're talking about land shrimp. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about Archaeognatha today. What is up, guys? Welcome back to episode 36 of Bug of the Week, brought to you by Lil Dudes Insect Academy. My name is Brayden, and I'm excited to talk this week about Archaeognatha, otherwise known as the bristle tails. I like to call them the land shrimp because they look like shrimp that live on the land. That's about it. <laughs> okay, so we are finally on to the first insects. I know after three weeks of talking about it, we are finally on to the first insect order, the most basal of the insect orders known as Archaeognatha. This is the first ancestral insect order that is still alive today. So these are the most primitive of the extant insect orders. So if you look at the phylogeny, you can see it's at the very top, right? It's the very first member of the class Insecta, the most basal of all the insect orders. So these guys, although they look not like insects, they are insects. You know, they, they have the compound eyes, they have six legs, they have the three body segments, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They have the ectonathus mouth parts. So remember, that means that their mouth parts are outside. They, they're not enclosed inside of the head like those three non-insect hexapods that we talked about last week. So they do all the things that insects need to be able to do. This insect, along with the insects for next week, which is the silverfish, are absolutely Apterous insects, meaning they lack wings. And these two are also ancestrally apterous, meaning none of their ancestors had wings either. So I think I might have said that in the last episode where I said that all insects have ancestral wings. That's not true. <laughs> I gaslit you guys. Archaeognatha as well as the zygentoma, which we're talking about next week, are both apterous. So they're still insects, but they do not have wings. So aside from these two basal orders, all other insects are pterygotes, meaning they all have wings or their ancestors have wings. Anyways, with that out of the way, we're talking about Archaeognatha this week, the bristle tails, and they are really cool, really weird looking. I did not know anything about them until this last semester when I took my uh, principles of entomology class where I learned about them. They're really cool. And I said land shrimp, not because that's what they're called. That's what I think they kind of look like. So if you look at them, they kind of look like shrimp that live on land. So these, these primitive wingless insects currently have 350 species described, which is not very many at all for uh, an insect order. But they typically measure from anywhere from 5 to 20 millimeters in length. These insects are ametabolous. Ametaboli we talked about last week, where they are born out of their eggs and they're born as basically miniaturized versions of the adults. Not much distinguishing morphology. They're just much smaller. They go through a series of molts throughout their life, and then finally, when they reach adulthood, they molt. That's when they gain their reproductive organs. So yeah, that's ametaboli. Uh, we talked about that last week. I talked about it a little bit more. So if you missed that one, go check that one out. Now, jumping bristletails have a number of very unique, defining Features. So first of all, they have this unique scaled appearance. That's why I said they kind of look like shrimp is because they have this kind of scaled segmented appearance to them. They also have these metallic looking sheen to their exoskeleton, making it look like scales. And then if you look at their head, their head is really interesting because they've got these two huge compound eyes that meet, they join in the middle, which is very, very unusual and characteristic of Archaeognatha. Another thing you'll notice is there are three appendages coming off the back of the abdomen. So they have the two cerci on the back, which are the two shorter ones that we talked about last week. So cerci are for sensory, and they have little seedy hairs on them that they use to sense airborne vibrations. But then they also have of one long terminal filament that is longer than the two cerci. So they have two shorter cerci with one long terminal appendage coming out between the two. Now, what's the use for the terminal appendage? From my understanding, we're not really sure. It could be for courtship. It could be for trying to distract or confuse predators. We're actually not sure what the purpose of that terminal filament is for, if there is an actual purpose for it. Additionally, the jumping bristletails also have, you know, very long antennae, which are characteristic of most insects, especially the more basal ancestral lineages. 
is, and now I think the most interesting part and where their name comes from is Archeognatha actually means ancient jaws, which is very cool because that is referring to these two raptorial appendages on the front of their body. So if you look right in front of those eyes, they've got these two little front legs and they're called raptorial because they hold their food with it as well as also walk, obviously. And they're very unique to Archeognatha. They primarily eat algae, lichens, mosses, decaying material, much like those other three orders we went over last week. So yeah, they're mostly decomposers. From my understanding, not much evidence for a predatory jumping bristle tail, but yeah, those legs are still really cool regardless. Another very defining characteristic is their slouched over back, uh, like a hunchback kind of, which is a very unusual posture for an insect. So personally, I've never actually collected or seen any of these, but they're not all that rare. You can collect them in a similar fashion to the burlacy funnel that I talked about last week. So yeah, you'll find them in the soil, in the leaf litter, sort of minding their own business, but some defining features are definitely their metallic scaly appearance, the hunched back, the raptorial four legs, and two cerci with terminal filament coming between them. So, Archeognatha, jumping bristle tails. I think they look really cool. They look really metal with their, like, scaly, metallic armor. I think they're really cool. I didn't really know about them until I took this entomology course last semester. But if you guys learned something, leave a like, subscribe, comment. If you found something interesting, maybe your favorite part, your new favorite fact. I like to call these guys land shrimp because that's what they look like. They look like shrimp. But, yeah, anyways, I'm excited for this series. We are into the insects, finally. So, next week, we're talking talking about silverfish. Yes, from Minecraft. Silverfish from Minecraft. So if you don't want to miss that, definitely click that subscribe button so that you stay up to date with new uploads. But with that, I will see you all next week. But until then, keep on bugging. See ya.